Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. It is I, Zelda Player 20, and I have to say something to you because I lied in the last episode. In the last episode I told you guys that we're going to visit this island right over here. But there's nothing on that island, so I skipped it, and we're going to, you guessed it, another freaking fucking assholey reef. Ugh. If I'm not mistaken, and I hope that I'm right here, is this... That this is the last reef in the game, so... Ugh. Three episodes of me bombing the shit out of cannons. Come on. There. So sorry for that! <laughs> yeah, I just look at my uh, own drone map uh, from my test file and I saw that there was nothing on that island, so... Yeah, I just... Not going to waste... Uh, I don't know how much minutes to show you an island that's pointless to go to. So, oh, cannon, 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 cannon. Yeah. Cannon, 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 cannon. That would be actually kind of funny if Ganon used a cannon. <laughs> okay, that was a really bad joke, sorry. Okay. It's a good thing that I have a lot of bombs again, because uh, otherwise uh, I was kind of screwed here because my aiming is kind of stupid, especially with those waves. Ugh. Come on. Oh, come on! You hit me and I didn't hit you. Now I'm angry. Ugh. Okay, let's be careful. If that asshole is going to shoot bombs at me again. And he's hopefully going to miss. Seriously, can you stop moving now? Oh, I, I, I hit you and you sank to the bottom. Oh, and that was the last thing that I had to destroy. Great. Two minutes in this episode and we're already done here. That's good news. I am working on a railroad and I'm on the sea. No, this doesn't make any sense, but you are watching me. Okay, that really didn't make any sense. Hey, bombs and magic. Just what I need. Okay, so the... Oh, we have to go all the way around again. You spin my island round, right round. Blech. So, what else can I talk about with these long islands? Um... I talked about movies, talked about games that I was playing, I didn't talk about uh, cats that are coming here, Kirby and Yoshi, will take a week or two, maybe three, so then we will have Kirby and Yoshi here, so yeah, uh, that's kind of awesome. And um, the weather here is uh, pretty fricked up. Thank you very much. Because uh, the weather is... Uh, well, we had a thunderstorm uh, a couple of days ago. And it looked kind of heavy, but it was kind of... Yeah, it wasn't... A, no, it wasn't a big storm, but... Uh, at the moment, if, if if you see the clouds, you know, you see the thunderstorm coming, you think like, oh god, this is going to be so heavy, uh, we have to be careful, blah blah here, blah blah there. But it wasn't that scary, actually. It was kind of lame. Um, Rising Between the Gold was kind of lame, right? The thunderstorm, yeah. So, but still, it's April, and we are not used to get thunderstorms in April, but that was the same story in December. We didn't expect any thunderstorms on December because it was cold. How can you have a thunderstorm? Well, of course I'm going to get, well, it's possible. Well, it's quite possible if you want to have a thunderstorm. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I really had no idea how that was possible. So, um, okay, well, I'm just going to take the deck to leave with me and we're going to fly to that island and going to fail, of course. Because you like, oh, <laughs> that was a close fail. Well, anyway, we got another treasure chest. A secret treasure chest. So, with that out of the way, we are finally done with all the reefs, if I'm not mistaken. I hope that we are... 
done with all the reefs. And I will see you on Spectacle. Is, is, is Spectacle Island a good island? Let's see. Yeah, it has two things. So, whoa, whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Where am I? Hi. My headset fell off my head. Sorry. And again. I'm. And that was my controller. You know what? Fuck it. I will see you there. Be back in a punch. And here we are on Spectate Island. Uh, on Spectate Island there is a minigame that we have to do. I will show you on the map. What you have to do is you have to talk to this dude here and he's like... Oh! Oh, never mind. My mistake. Yeah, yeah, step right up. If you have confidence in the target shooting, why don't you give it a shot? It's 50 rupees per game. Wanna try? You better wanna try. But it's kind of expanded. Alright then, now. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa! So you're the little scrim who thinks he targets you with hotshot, yeah? And you say this knowing well with me like a I don't care about this dialogue, seriously, I will explain the rules. So. What we have to do is we have to shoot these barrels uh, with ten cannons. There are five barrels and we have to shoot them. Now, this seems like an easy task, but it can be quite annoying. For example, you can see that that one is way too far, so I'm just going to make it to, yeah, 15 maybe. That's going to be good. Okay, now this one should be on 20 then, I guess. Let's see. Alright, okay, now. We're doing this good, we're doing this the good way. This one should be a little on 30 maybe. Wow, I'm really on a rickroll here. Um... 34? Wow! Okay, now the last one should be on... 38. And I just missed it barely. Okay, 39 then. There we go! Okay, all the fill in the previous episodes is going to be handy right now. Psh! Wow, nice shooting! Thank you! Miss, hey miss! Oh god, this is going to be disgusting. Gonzo! You're at least my honorable member of my family, are you not? That's supposed to be Tetra. <laughs> if she wish, is if she knew that that was going to happen on Spectate Island, she's going to blast that island to smithereens. But anyway, it will give you a piece of heart and we have another heart container. Yay! But anyway, the funny thing is, if you do it again, you will earn a treasure map and this one looks a little harder cool uh, okay now let's see that one is on 32 let's let's just see how good I am at this so I'm just going to show you this one more time way too far okay 27 then Twenty-one. okay that's good okay now that one is these are very far away. The gimmick is you can actually uh, miss once uh, for each barrel, so... I think I'm not gonna make this. Maybe I am. Okay, I think that one is just on max. Okay, let's see. <coughs> okay, I was right on that maxed one. Uh, this one should be on... I think 39. Let's see. Uh, 38 then. Or 37. I'm just going for 37. And... Okay, that one is done. I only have two more shots for this one. This one looks like it's going to be a 40. Done! Great! And he's going, uh, wait a second. Miss, miss. And there's Miss Hedra again. What do you want? Don't you know how to keep quiet, just curvy dog? Okay, well, whatever. And we're going to get a treasure map. Yay! So that's it for Spectate Island, and we get a piece of art in the treasure map. That's kind of awesome. So. Now we're going to... Yeah, I think I can go there already. Yeah, we're going to Windfall Island. There's a lot of stuff that we can do there now, so... See you in a punch. And here we are on Windfall Island. Also known on... Oh my gosh, there are so many side quests that I have to do right here. 
Um, there are some things that we can do on daylight and we can do some stuff at night time. Uh, well, it's daylight now, so I'm just going to do the daylight uh, quest right now. Um, yeah, because we only have five more minutes left. Hi, behind the screen. Hi. Uh, behind the screen is also filming again. <laughs> Mario, piss off. Uh, first, I want to talk to this girl. She's now poor. Uh, that's because uh, sh their dad actually gave all her money away uh, by... Yeah, trying to rescue her, so... She's going to be important in night time, so we're just going to leave that one for now. We want to talk to the Eskimo here, and he's talking about uh, the trading game that we have to do. And I really do not like this one bit, so... Delivery back, I have a request, oh dear me... I, I understand, I just don't care at all, so... Because I'm just going to look up what I have to do with all these town flowers and I'm just going to hate this trading quest. Because here we're going to start the trading quest for, if I'm not mistaken, one piece of art and... Uh, yeah, the magic armor, so... But anyway, the first thing that we want to go to is we want to go to... Where was it again? Um, that's the bar. Uh, I want to go up here if I'm not mistaken. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, as you can see behind the screen, I'm smoking. Who cares? Okay, well. We have to go in here, and we see that the old pervert that was bothering us in the previous episode is now a rich dude. You there, halt! Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if if you were to be the postman, I would have shoot you out of here before you could say boo. But say, hey, it looked rather familiar for a street urchin. Have you ever met somewhere before? Yeah. What you want to do to this dude is you want to give him the thing that I was saying that you want to have 20 of. You want to have 20 skull necklaces and give him to him. Like this. Hey. This is one of the skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress. These sell quite well in antique shops. In fact, it was thanks to these beauties that I become filthy rich overnight. Hey, and from the look of it, I'd say you have 20 of these, don't you? They aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. <laughs> I'll be beating money at yet again. The money bad. The, the only bad that gets filthy, filthy rich. All right, boy, I will give you this as a tip. Now, I'm not thanking you for anything or just feeling good today. And he will give us a piece, a treasure chart. Sorry, I thought it was going to be a piece of heart, but it's a treasure chart that leads to a piece of heart, as you can see in the sidebar. The piece of heart here, shut up. The piece of heart that you want to get here is quite easy to get. Uh, you just want to talk to Maggie with the bunny ears right here. I think it's a reference to the bunny hood in the Ocarina of Time, I don't know for sure. But anyway, uh, she fell in love with a moblin. It's kinda scary. Here, Mo, the wonderful moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. She's in love with a moblin. This is scary. This is really scary. Anyway, she's giving you a letter and you just have to deliver the letter for her. So... <laughs> Bunny on the backside, so yeah, we just have to place that somewhere, and then we're going to the night time. But I think that's going to be in the next episode because we are close to the end of this episode already. So, um, yeah, we're just going to the post box then. Why not? I have the time, you have the time, so why not? <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Let's just do this. Cool. And you have to pay five rubies, if I'm not mistaken, for sending that letter. Well, you really want to pay up the five rubies because uh, you will get something neat for it in return. So. With that, I'm going to night time and I will see you all in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So thank you all for watching and I'm going to sign off for now, so bye bye!